It's a very bad deal for Wisconsin citizens and our taxpayers. Uh, it's over $3 billion of tax credits, in addition to which other tax reduction uh, expenditures and credits are being given to Foxconn. It's a foreign corporation coming into Wisconsin. Uh, it is uh, putting all our eggs in one basket, essentially. We have no guarantee of where these jobs will be hired from. We know the plant will be located in Wisconsin, but Kenosha Racine are right on the Illinois border. So there's no guarantee that says they may not pull more people from Illinois. Other states, obviously people will be coming in for jobs. The money is front loaded, so Foxconn gets the benefit right off the bat, whereas we don't see any results from it that, that will benefit the state for at least 25 years, at the best case. And besides education, which is one of our number one issues, transportation costs is probably second in line because right now our roads are considered to be about the third worst in the nation, or third from the bottom in the nation. Investing that $3 billion over the next 25 years in the education system would be a much better investment and it would lead to greater economic growth. And health care is another third issue that needs to be addressed because we are losing funding for our Medicaid patients and that's going to be a major concern. So there are lots of areas where this money could be going. Education, transportation, and health care, I would say, are the top three. Then if you were going to invest money in economic development, it would be much better to distribute that money over a lot of smaller and entrepreneurial firms grow here in Wisconsin. And I talked to one of my constituents just recently regarding this exactly. He's a small business person in a small community. He can't even get a $50,000 loan to expand his business. So this is a huge concern for him and many other small businesses, besides the precedent that it's setting and saying local Wisconsin business doesn't matter. Anyone who's opposed to a bill needs to contact their legislators. Even though Senator Miller and I may be on the side that you believe strongly in, you still need to notify us because we track all the responses we get, whether it's a phone call, an email, a letter. We track those of people in our district. And if you're not in our district, contact whomever is your representative and your senator because they need to know where you stand and what your sentiments are. Because when it comes time to vote, we do depend strongly on what we've heard from our constituents. I think it's just an extraordinarily bad deal as a result of the Walker administration not meeting its employment goals.